But hey guys, it's Zayat again. And yeah, I've been away a little while. And honestly, I haven't been playing as much Battlefield as I'd really like to. But I got Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag against the better judgment of both myself and my wallet. And, you know, it's really been a nice break from the crazy, frenetic multiplayer that is Battlefield, that is Call of Duty. Though I haven't actually been playing that very much either because I don't like that game and I can't record it so I have no real incentive to play. But that being said, I wanted to talk a little bit about why I haven't been playing Battlefield and the simple fact of it is I'm a little tired of first-person shooter multiplayer. It's a lot of running around and just generally being crazy. This is domination from very, very early in my Battlefield 4 career. You can see I'm using the MX-4, which I haven't used in months. You can see that I, you'll see that I just unlocked the AK-5C, which is still my favorite carbine. But one of the things that I think gaming in general needs more of is, and I talked about this briefly in my last commentary, it needs more color. And the map you're seeing now, Paracel Storm, Right now on Domination, it's not the brightest, most colorful map, but a map like Hainan Resort, a map even like Land King Dam, a map like Paracel before the storm starts, a lot of the Battlefield 4 maps, they just look good, and they feel good to play on, and I would just love to sit around and look at the skybox, and as I've played Black Flag more and more, I find myself just wanting to sail the open seas, and, and more to the point, Black Flag makes, gives me an experience that I don't get anywhere else. That I don't feel like I've gotten in any game I've played, even in the Assassin's Creed franchise. And it reminds me, mostly, of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, but with a lot more bloody violence. Not more violence, because there's certainly plenty of violence in Wind Waker, it's just very cartoony. But with Assassin's Creed 4, it's... It, it is the as close as I think anyone currently will come to being a pirate. Especially being a pirate in the Golden Age of Piracy, because that was when the world was a lot bigger, shall we say. And coming from Assassin's Creed 3, let me simply say that it is such a better feeling to be playing a game that is bright, that is colorful, both in the character and the setting, and in the just color palette of the game, because it's the Caribbean. It's really hard to make the Caribbean look drab. I've been to the Caribbean. You can go out to any part of that ocean that, that isn't it wasn't affected by, say, the BP oil spill, and you can look down in the water a hundred feet, see the most beautiful coral, see the most beautiful fish, see everything. It, it's it's crystal clear water. So it's really hard to make the Caribbean look bad, and it's, and they didn't. And I wrote an article on Top Tier Tactics, a link to the description, a link to which will be in the description below, talking about why I think Assassin's Creed 4 will restore the franchise to its former glories, and why I think that Assassin's Creed 3 failed so miserably. And one of those reasons is A, the writing in Assassin's Creed 3, it wasn't very top notch. The writing in Assassin's Creed 4 is much, much better. Not only is Edward Kenway, he's not a likable character, really, but he's a character that develops, and he has larger ambitions, and he has more depth to his ambitions, and more depth to his character in general than Connor does. More importantly, he's not Connor, and he doesn't talk in a single monotone voice for the entirety of the game, because... A friend of mine told me about this, and he said that he thinks that they got actors who could speak the Iroquois language, or Iroquois, but they weren't actually voice actors. They had no idea how to emote vocally without, you know, talking with their hands like I'm actually doing right now, which you can't see, which is kind of weird. But a lot of the actors in Assassin's Creed World Black Flag, they're, they're interesting. They, they know what it means to be a voice actor. They know what it means to emote, to, to be visual with your voice, such as it is. To go around and instead of, say, talking in a monotone voice for 55 minutes, instead, they give you roundness in the voice. And generally, I think the game design 
in Assassin's Creed 4 is better because I like the animations. The animations are crisper. The animations are better. I think that the sailing, I did not think that the sailing would be nearly as enjoyable as it is. I cannot tell you how many times I have spent an additional hour and a half taking ships, taking prizes from, from Spain, from France, from Britain, simply because A, they got in my way, and B, because, well, I enjoy sailing, and it happens that I am in need of wood, and I cannot get wood normally, so I have to blow something up. And there happens to be three ships that have wood in front of me, and it's beautiful, and I love the explosions, so I'm going to go get some more wood. And the map is so much larger than Assassin's Creed 3's. It's so much more varied. There's so much more to do that's not Boston. I live in Boston. It's an interesting city, and it was an interesting city back then as well, but not nearly as beautiful or as interesting as, say, the Caribbean in the Golden Age of Piracy. And it's not just a bunch of horseback riding through really boring spaces. It's manning a ship with all that entails, and just, you'll pass an island and you'll say to yourself, what's on that island? I don't want to know what's on that island. Or you'll pass a treasure, a sunken ship, and you'll say, what's in that sunken ship? Or as an AC3, it's just like, oh, I could kill some more rabbits. That's fantastic. Um, no. And so I guess what this rambling has gotten me to is I want to think about a series I can do for Assassin's Creed 4 single player. I want it to be unique, I want it to be interesting, and I want it to, to generally capture the feeling of AC4, but still be entertaining for you guys to watch. If you have any suggestions, please, let, please put them in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one.